Nature has reclaimed the world in the absence of mankind. Whoa, is that the QZ? Yep. Watch the high spots. WLF. Trespassers killed on sight. All right. Unsubtle. They basically go beyond that point, and they'll just kill you. Doesn't matter who you are. Don't go in there. Great. I'll just leave this horse out in the open, where, uh... They'll announce the fact that we came this way. Looks like there's some cracks up there. In the wall, up above. You see it? Yeah. Not sure how we get up there, though. Not exactly, yeah. <laughs> the cracks aren't really the priority. Once you're figuring out how to get that high, you could pretty much figure out how to get the rest of the way. WLF. Uh, yeah. Trespassers killed on sight. That's friendly. Yeah. At least we know we're in the right place. Where is everyone? They put up this sign. It means there's gotta be a way in. So that's how we get up there. It traces back, there's a series of like climbing spots, go all Nathan Drake style, that ladder onto that roof, so I need to get on that roof probably over there, so I gotta go around this side probably, or through here. Just striking out today. Oh. When you get to the gate, look for a soldier named Kieran. Tell him I sent you. Then give him the kilo, and he'll get you inside the wall. Good luck. Kieran. Someone named Kieran's taking drugs? From some outside smuggler or something? How many of you are there? How many people have you killed? Oop, faster health kits. I'm telling you, Ellie, I think they might be restrained. I think they think they're the good guys, they're not really, like, rampaging marauders that wipe people out. This is gonna be an infinite loop, though, isn't it? Just revenge upon revenge upon revenge. Like, they were seeking revenge for something that Joel did, probably. And now we're gonna go and do that, too. Ooh. Infection stages. Oh, it says it all here. Infected, stage one. Cordyceps has taken over the victim's motor functions. Fast and agile. Stage two infect- uh, stage one infected usually travel in packs. Do not let them swarm you. Infected, stage two. Uses environment to hide and ambush victims. Will frequently flank and attack from behind. Approach with caution and check your surroundings. Infected, stage three. Completely blind. Acute hearing. Uses echolocation to seek out prey. Keep your distance. Stage 3 infected are known for their ferocious attacks and are extremely lethal. Stage 4. Rare but dangerous evolution of stage 3 infected. Incredibly strong and capable of throwing acidic projectiles. Do not engage unless absolutely necessary. Pretty picked over. They got patrol routes. 
Lots of names. No way to know how long this has been here, though. Cleared zones. This is probably from the military, not the uh, MLE. M MRE? What are they called? I was thinking about Joel's gore for a little bit. Kind of wonder sometimes about like the developers that have to model that stuff. It's like the more depressing version of the usual joke about like whenever you see testicles in a game, or, like a horse or a pig or whatever the hell, you're like, heh, someone's job was to make those. Was that somebody's just whole afternoon or longer? But I think about the gore, and I'm a little more distressed. Are these cages? Holding cells. Soldiers had them in Boston, too. There's people like Stephanie that are, like, darkly fascinated with it. So maybe they get those guys. Like, get all fascinated with gore and things like that. But then there's other people that, like... It's not necessarily what they're signing up for. I think about how, like... There was, I think there was a guy that worked on one of the Mortal Kombat games that was claiming that they were having, like, sort of PTSD-style reactions of some kind because of the stuff that they had to look at while they were researching how to make the visuals for the game and the, fatal the fatalities. Now it, like, screwed- it really fucked them up. I should probably check over there. And then, uh... What was it? Uh... I remember hearing that the... When they were making the Dead Space games, they took inspiration from looking at footage of car crash victims. Footage and videos and whatnot. Or, I mean, photos. So that's what their research would entailed, is that the artists had to look at a bunch of photos of car crash victims and then base the necromorphs on that. Like, twisted, misshapen bodies of real- and, and knowing it's real people. Definitely not my career choice. And on some level, if, there's, if it's like somebody that's like weirdly fascinated with that stuff and wants to look at that stuff, then I guess, sure. But I think I think about like... Modern capitalism society and all that, and like how like some people just need a job. <laughs> and so some unfortunate people, I can't help but think, might... Kind of get backed into... Dealing with something like that when they don't really want to. But they say yes, and they keep going, because they need the pay. <laughs> nope. Try from over here. Cool, I did it. Stop- stop saying there's a hint. I know- I know where to go. I'm exploring. <laughs> okay, he can't make that jump. And you probably can't make that jump either. Some characters could, but not 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 Last of Us. I saw that corner building and I saw like a path that you could reasonably think might work, at least in some games. And I thought, oh, all right. Not this time. Yeah, okay, I know where to go, game. Up here. You got something? Sure do. Dina, hey. Help me up here. Damn. I'll keep an eye out. Just see if you can get the gate open from the other side. Sounds good. That's some of her body strength. We're not gonna like... No, nothing else, huh? Did you, did you guys get rid of that rope from earlier? Could have hung that down so she can climb up. It doesn't look like it has an extension, like the ladder doesn't get any longer. I think it originally reached the floor in its in its normal state, but now it's gone. Don't totally trust that jump. Oh boy. What could go wrong? <gasps> Make some risky calls right now. All right. I don't love that. Oh boy. Uh, 
Oh, I've got to go under. What? Oh, it's still in balancing mode. Weird. <gasps> okay. I would lose my shit. <laughs> Fuck this entire plan. Then again, I wouldn't be on a mission like this. Some of the escapism of playing a game. If they escapism into a more stressful, more horrible situation than you'll ever live in, and hopefully. Come on. Yeah, that'll happen every five minutes. <laughs> the balancing mechanic came up. I'm like, no, just go. You can do it. Seattle's too big. It's too large of an area for them to guard consistently. We have a decent number of chances to sneak in. They would have had way more trouble coming after us where we were if it wasn't for the fact that Joel just fell right in their lap. That was some astonishingly poor luck. Otherwise, they're gonna have to pull some whisperers shit. Cool. Zelda. Once your unit's taken the gate, open it up and coordinate with John's unit. We've got plants in the refugee line ready. I don't want any Fedra survivors. As soon as you've got control of the area, offer refugees entry in exchange for loyalty to WLF. Maybe your sur may your survival be long, Isaac. Whoa. What is Fedra? It's probably the it. It's pr I assume it's the federal like like the military that was here, right? I got plants in line. Shit. So yeah, WLF is awful, apparently. Yeah. Alright. That seems like some evidence that they were bad from the get-go, or at least ruthless and up to some serious shit. Still, that was a grudge. They hunted him down. There wasn't profit in that. There was profit in taking this place. God, did we go to Seattle in the last game? It'd be pretty out of the way, unless we started there. I don't remember the exact path that happened in the previous game. Maybe I should review that. It sounds like they, they, like they had plants in line, so they had people amongst the... They had, they had people that were hiding amongst the refugees, and they specifically did like a coup to wipe out all of the leadership and military that was protecting this place. And that was controlling the border. So they killed all of those people. And then told anyone in line that thought they were going to get in. That sure, they can get in. If they're loyal to us. That was their recruiting method. You have to join the WLF or die. Wolf. That's all I remember it. I kept trying to remember the acronym. Washington Liberation Front Wolf. Oh, is that going to call attention to me? Hmm. Oh. Okay. How do I get you power? Are you smoking? 
Or is she like sucking her fingers or whatever, like doing like a like a stress sort of move? And saw her hand up to her face, and then a, then a blowing noise. I'm like, are you? This is not the time, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't think it'd be that hard to climb this fence, honestly. That is not tempered. This is this is dangerous to climb through. Oop. At what point does the world just run out of windows? Ooh, Coz. I wonder when this was written. 0451. It's always there on every list. Every time. Got a big operation coming up, and Isaac wants to scavenge any remaining supplies from downtown. Take any gas from the courthouse Serving garage. That base. That's something. Take it from the courthouse garage, the dome, and take them to the safe house in Saravina base. Somebody wrote really big. They did not. They were not. In, they, they they had planned out what they were going to write, and it was going to fit in that amount of page, no matter what. That coffee maker looks so clean. Look how clean it looks. With how everything else looks. Actually, it's it's really, it's kind of just clean in here, isn't it? No. Nope, there's tons of, tons of leaves and stuff inside here. Never mind. I was gonna say, it's not really exposed to the elements so much, but I get, yeah, there's a broken window there. Broken window there. But I had to, get, I had to make a big Ellie sized one. Well, hello. That's a generator. Well, ain't that awful convenient. Get that opened up. There we go. Yeah. I probably should have plugged it in first. Was that an option? Instead of doing it while it's live. What a smart move. Uh, what kind of... Is there anything here? Ellie? Ellie? Over here. Yeah, no, I know where the gate is. <laughs> Should I be expecting like, clickers and things inside the city, or do you think they... You'd hope that they purged the city over the years, but maybe not. Oh, that'll open it up. I wanted to look around, but I reflexively interacted with things. Oh, or not. Is that the computer tower? Oh, that's the computer tower next to it. What's that little thing? Safe? Hard drive? Not getting much use these days, huh? Was that a way around the gate? Oh no, they probably let people in here and then all the gates were closed around here so that they could control them and take them through there. Through the, uh, the line. Hey, everything okay? What was that sound? I got that gate open. Gotta figure out this one now. Well, we believe in you. Thanks. We? We believe in you. Wait. 
It's so wasteful to leave the generator running. Oh, hello. Uh, needs juice. But I guess I know what to do. Anything else around here, though, first? Ah. Can't turn it off before I try to unplug this. Don't put your arm right there. Okay. It seemed a tad risky. I guess they're not so interested in me being able to. Huh. <laughs> Look how fucking annoyed she looks right now. <laughs> what a face to make. Oh, she even whips it over her head. And she gathers it up as you go towards its source. So many, there's so many neat to Oh, right. Here we go. Boom! Gotta remember that I can do the throw. With those kinds of items. Is a cable stretched to its limit. And our passcode. All right. But the main gate. Chess master. That's the password, right? Oh, you can zoom in on the art, huh? All those telekinetic hands playing chess. That's not ha that's that's illegal. Those moves are illegal. You can't just like rapid fire do chess moves, dude. Is he that smart? I don't know about that, Caleb Sophos. After running with the multi-dimensional hero Tesseractor, criminal mastermind Caleb Sophos suddenly could see every possible outcome on it, of his decisions before he made one. Naming himself Chess Master for his newfound ability to see dozens of moves ahead. This power came with a cost. They made a fortune helping other criminals plan their heists. Seeing all possible outcomes crippled him with indecision. Unable to utilize his power to enrich himself, he is forced to rely on others to make choices for him. Villain. Brutal. There was a movie about that, uh, starring Nicolas Cage. It was stupid. <laughs> Oh five, fifty. Oh five, twelve. Yes. Well done. Horse did not like that. Let's get out of here. That crash was pretty loud. Yes, it was. We're fucked. Here comes walkers and gun people. All right, well, we're locked in here now. I guess we believe in you was the horse. <laughs> I didn't think about the horse. I found a note back there. Had some codes on it. it. Says there's a WLF safe house at some place called Saravina Base. Saravina. So we find it? Hopefully we find our first WLF. Get them to talk. Go from there. Let's do it. Federal Disaster Response Agency. Yeah. That was I was right. Fedra sounds like a, a somebody misspeaking federal, so it was pretty straightforward. Good naming for a fictional setting for you to be able to pinpoint what, like what it, what it likely was without elaborating on it. So like that was the government trying to keep things under under control, which not always amazing, but probably better oh, than shit, these people. Saravina Hotel. Oh, that's got to be it. 
Fuck Fedra. Okay. Let's find a way past this, uh, fuck Fedra gate. Very creative. Gets right to the point. Let's get closer and scope it out. Back in Boston, they catch you tagging a wall like this, they beat the shit out of you. Or yeah, worse. Yeah, they're from Excuse Boston. Me, like fun. Yeah, so this was another quarantine zone like the one from the beginning of one, which was in Boston. There we go. So we are way the fuck on the other side of the country at this point. But we were going west, right? In the first game? We got- we seem to get here pretty quickly. Look like- going by the notes, it sounded like she- there might have been like a week of travel. I'm, I'm sure that the, uh, the government quarantine wasn't a beautiful experience. But it seems like the, uh, type of people that would do a coup and try to take charge may not have the best interests in mind. Yet. They weren't letting people in. They weren't letting people in, like, at all. 20, 17, 11, and then 5, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Turned a lot of people back. And then eventually they started kicking people out. I mean, they kind of were kicking people out the entire time. But yeah, they uh, they let people in for only four months, and for the of those four months, for two of them, the people expelled were didn't, were outnumbering the people that were being let in. Sergeant Ward, continued WLF disruption of our supply lines, in addition to infected attacks and spore infestations means we are still unable to meet the weekly food distribution quotas. Keep the city gates sealed to new entrants until further notice. To ease the burden of the food stock, step up your sweeps for criminals and expel them. All Class 2 crimes now qualify for expulsion. We're running out of time. Lieutenant Torres. They didn't have the supplies to feed everyone. Idiots. Just this turning everyone against you. Yeah, it's not great. It's one of the weird situations where starvation might have been better. Okay, here we go. This doesn't seem good. No gas. Ah, it's out of gas. God damn it. Well, what do we do now? Oh shit. The note. What? The note mentioned that there's gas in the courthouse garage and the dome. All right. Courthouse garage and the dome. So what's the plan for finding these places? We ride around and see what we see. You think Tommy came through here? But he did. So did Tommy also climb in the way we did? Because he couldn't use the gate. I'm not getting in through there. Can't climb that. Riding around doesn't feel like a great plan. At any point, we could get spotted and killed. But yeah, the, uh, it makes sense that they're trying to figure out how to deal with the food problem, because they couldn't feed everyone, so they're trying to figure out how to get rid of people so they could feed whoever's left. But over-policing is a great way to turn the, everyone against you. Because you're just looking for people to punish. So you're sort of creating criminals by... Inventing reasons to punish people to some extent, uh, and that's well. Look at the world. 